Today making fries at home. I'm using canola oil. I probably use half of this bottle. It's new, it was full, as I don't have a fire yet, so I'll just use a pot to make crispy golden fries. So this one is eight pound family size. I got from Costco for $6.50 for eight pounds. This thing is cheaper than eating at fast food restaurants. Fast food restaurant like charging dollar for small fries and this is like six fifty for for eight pounds. So I'm gonna make the French fries. Uh, basically, I'm gonna make one round. I want to be temperature to be three hundred seventy five for eight minutes. Make sure your pot is dry, no water. Otherwise, when you put oil on it, it's gonna be seizure. Might hurt your hand or your skin. Now I'm gonna put some oil on it. So now I just want to be wait until it get to uh, 375. I'm gonna make it to uh, medium high. Almost there. All right, it's ready. So we're going to put the fries into the pot. So here's the fries. Yeah, I'm gonna do it slowly in case you're not burn. Bashing. Cook for eight minutes. So, because I like golden crispy, I don't like soggy fries. I think this pot is good enough for me to like uh, cook the fries. I don't need to like purposely buy a uh, French fries fire or fire machine. And I don't. I personally don't like um, air fire because it's not as crispy as using an oil to fry. So that's why I chose to use the traditional way of doing this. Um, and the oil wise, I normally use like six to seven times the same oil and then I will paste a new one. And yeah, let's wait for eight minutes and we'll come back to it. Okay, it's eight minutes now. Let's take a look how it goes. Yeah, it looks like it's not ready yet. Not everyone is crispy. So let me swap it around put the old one on top and let's give it another three minutes after three minutes additional yep so it looks all ready this time yeah I guess depends the portions uh, sometimes you need eight minutes sometimes you need additional three more minutes it depends also how crispy or saggy you want and you adjust the time yeah definitely want to like once you put the french fries into the pot you definitely want to stay at the same uh, uh, same um, settings medium high yeah you want to maintain a temperature high because you don't want like while like frying this you don't want the oil suck inside the potato so less squeezy so if you turn it on the high heat your oil is it's kind of not pushing in it's kind of pushing out so it will be less like uh, greasy. Yeah, look definitely look more crispier this time. Very crispy to me. Yeah, I personally, I personally like crispy fries than a soggy one. So that's why I tend to like cook it slightly longer than a normal um, instruction times. So this time I've got an aioli. It's very good, and I also have um, parsley fake. It's also good too. In this case, I'm gonna put some on the. Uh, I'm gonna put the big on the uh, French fries. Yeah, so this is way more fancy style than eating in a fast food restaurant. Okay, and I'm gonna dip some garlic aioli. This, by the way, this garlic aioli tastes awesome. Good. It's very strong garlic roast garlic flavor and dipping with the fries I think it's very good now I have the sauce and I'm gonna try with the uh, the fries oh wow this is so good with the aioli sauce yeah with the, the fix also helps to the parsley fix again this is another fast simple dish to make at home which is suitable for me as I'm lazy, don't have time, always in a wash, wash mode. So this is a good thing to make at home. Please think for burger, make some burger, grill some burger, along with some fries.
thank you for watching and I'll see you the next video.